Welcome to another Photoshop CS4 tutorial from simplephoto.com. This tutorial is going to talk about the first six tools in the toolbar. And starting with the top one, the move tool. Uh, shortcut key is the letter V. Uh, if you hover over the buttons, you will keep the mouse still. You can see the shortcut key is the one in the brackets at the end. So move tool V, marquee tool. M, I believe, and so on. So the move tool, B, is simply for moving around layers. If we're on layer one, which is this chicken's helmet, I can grab it and move it around. And that's simply how it works. Make sure you're on the correct layer if you're trying to move something. If I was on the background, I wouldn't be able to move the chicken's helmet. I would get this, this layer is locked see here there's a lock symbol and I can't move it. If I want to move the helmet I have to click on the layer one which has the helmet on it. Now I can move it. The next tool is the marquee tool. Right now it's on the ellipse. Uh, most of these tools have a little black corner on them and by clicking that you can get to other options for that tool. They do basically the same thing but are a little variation. So with the elliptical tool it basically does a an elliptical selection. Uh, to get rid of the selection, select, deselect. If we want a perfect circle, we can hold down the shift key while making our selection and we get a circle. Uh, the other tools work the same way. Shift and drag gives me a square. Otherwise, it's a rectangle. For all these selection tools, which is the next three, if we have a selection here, if I hold down the shift key, I will add to Lex that selection when I make my next selection. So now when I make my new triangle, I now have this double selection. I can combine that with the circles. If I want to subtract from a selection, I hold down the Alt key, Alt key and make my selection and get rid of it all, Control D. The next tool is the Lasso tool. Right now it's on the Magnetic Lasso tool. Uh, this will select the very edge of a object automatically. So if I get it started, it will automatically select the edge. This helmet here I'm trying to select. If it has having problems you can click it and lock it in place. You can see it has some problems. It's the best for high contrast images. But for some applications it works quite well. I don't use it too often though. To close the selection I can double click or if I go to the end I can see that little circle there means it's going to close the selection. Control D, unselect it. The lasso tool is basically a freehand selection. And polygon lasso tool is similar, except I have to draw straight lines, which is nice for selecting something straight. Next tool, the magic wand tool. Uh, that selects a group of colors which are similar. Here you alter the tolerance. The higher the tolerance, the more it's going to select. So if we work on the background here, if I select the brown here, it will select just those colors. If I select the red on its head, 25 is perhaps a little small for getting that entire head. 50 gets most of it. If you Again, if you press the shift key, it'll add to the selection. So add some brown. The maximum is 255, so if we type in 255 here, it'll select the whole screen. That's because there's 255 shades of gray, or shades of color. The crop tool, the letter C, shortcut. Uh, I just drag 
click where you want your crop to be. If you hold down the shift key, you'll get a perfect square. Uh, this tool to say no thanks, I did it wrong. This one to accept it. Here you can type in your, if you want your standard setting, for example, five centimeters. You can set your resolution if you want or leave it blank to keep the images native resolution. Sampler tool. Uh, that's for taking color samples and for getting color into this color box here. If we click on this here gray or this red, you can see that the color is changing in my color box. I can take color samples by pressing down the shift key and clicking. Here you'll see them come in here, sample one, and the color values for my red, green, and blue, and sample two. Uh, when you have the sampler tool, you can choose by how large of an area it samples. You generally want it on something other than point sample. Otherwise, if you were, you could end up selecting a one little white point when you're actually trying to get this general red color. Uh, other ones in here, color sampler too, that's just what we were using, just with a shortcut. To get rid of these color samples, hold down the shift and alt together and click on them. Uh, the ruler tool is for measuring from A to B on your image. It'll give you your X and Y coordinate. The note tool, you can write notes. The count tool, you can count stuff. Not too useful for most of us, but if you're into the business of counting things in photos, if you have a thousand chickens in a pen and you want to see how many there actually were, you can count them and know that you didn't count them twice. Four chickens. That's it for the first six tools. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Feel free to leave your comments.